Hello everyone, Shinigaming here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Aegis Dynamics Avenger Stalker. Now this ship holds a special place in my heart because this is the very first ship that I pledged for with my original game package back in May of 2014. Now the Avenger Stalker is a variant of the Avenger Titan, and it is a variant designed for interdiction or bounty hunting. Let me go ahead and read the pledge store description real quick. Initially designed as a frontline carrier for the military, the Avenger Stalker took a different path, ultimately having a long and storied career as the standard patrol craft of the UEE advocacy. Utilizing its cargo hold for prisoner transport, the Avenger features a sturdy, reliable hull and the capacity for larger than expected engine mounts. This is the standard Avenger chassis with the Stalker prisoner transport module pre-installed. Now, as you just read there, or I guess you just heard, I read it. This is, like I said, it is the Avenger Titan, but it has a prisoner transport module with cryopods installed in the cargo bay. So the pledge price is listed as $60 USD for the Avenger Stalker, which is $10 more than the standard variant Avenger Titan. Disclaimer real quick, I need to point out that you do not have to purchase anything more than a base starter package with either the Aurora or Mustang Alpha for $45 that comes with a ship and a copy of Star Citizen, the online game. Any other ships can be earned in-game with credits and anything that you pledge above that helps fund development of the game. Now, a lot of upgrade paths are to upgrade from the Mustang Alpha to the Avenger Titan because it is a fairly inexpensive upgrade. Uh, from the Mustang Alpha to get a much larger and much more functional ship and Functional might not be the right terminology, but the Avenger Titan has a lot more gameplay opportunity for it because of the cargo hold that the uh, Mustang Alpha does not have All right, let's take a quick look at the Avengers Cockpit real quick. So down here. We got a couple of MFDs quite a few options here of controls engine on off uh, power off over here is the open exterior lock unlock over here is the ejection seat and to exit the ship because you can actually open the Canopy and I'm trying to remember where that control is. There we go open pilot canopy Let's go ahead and open that real quick So you can go ahead and open the canopy, which is really nice. You can exit up here from the front instead of having to go through the back of the ship But let's go ahead and close that back up real quick Look at the view that you get from inside the the cockpit here you have a nice clear open un unobstructed no struts unobstructed view from the avenger fantastic in my opinion now the cockpit looks identical in all variants of the avenger and as does this middle section the living quarters we have some non-functional uh storage over here probably going to be for weapon storage and a bed over here on this side which is great because you can use the avenger on long distance trips for long play sessions and lore wise your character can stay out in your ship for a long time without needing to go back to a station now here is where things change between the avenger stalker and the avenger titan the titan would have eight scu or standard cargo units of cargo space in the back but the avenger stalker fills it with these cryopods there are six prisoner transport pods in the back section here and you can open these up climb inside and close them now other than that there's not much you can do with them at the moment the bounty hunting and prison transport prisoner transport functionality is not in the game yet but it will be an, in the future but the whole bounty hunting aspect is what really drew me to the stalker in the first place let's go ahead and go out the back hatch here there's a little bit of a visual visual glitch sometimes where the outside does not render until you walk through um and the interior is also kind of bugged all right guys that's all i got for this time if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already also please leave a comment about something you liked in the video or something i can do better for next time thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time shinigaming out